Hello, I'm Carl Trident, fly fishing. Today we're going to tie the white wolf. This fly was designed by the legendary Lee Wolf in the 1930s. It's a great fast water fly that floats high and easily supports a dropper. It's usually tied in sizes 10 through 16. So the hook we're going to use today is a TMC 100 in size 12. That's our standard dry fly hook. And the thread we're going to use today is Vivis GSP 50D. I like this because I really like to pull on the materials in this fly because they're so slippery. And we'll get a little bit of Wopsy Wax on there to get the thread started because it's slippery too. Wrap back, form a small thread base for our wing. Come back up. And the first material for the wing is going to be some hairline calftail hair. And we'll select some out here from the middle. Pull it out perpendicular to the tailbone to help align the tips. Cut some off. A lot of fuzzy under material in, in here. We're going to get rid of that. Doesn't stack very well because of all of the kink in the hair, so we're just going to try tying it in the way it is. Get this turned around in my hand. So we want the wing to be the length of the hook shank, so we'll measure that out. And tie that in on top. Good tight turns, slippery material. Back away. Try and cut this off at an angle. I'm going to go forward here and form a stop in front of that wing before I go any farther so that it doesn't skate forward on the hook. Now we'll jump our thread in front, form a good dam to help stand that wing up. And we'll flatten it out with our fingers to help us separate out two wings. And then with some crossing wraps, we'll separate those. And now just a couple of posting turns. Pull the wing back, take a locking wrap around the body, and do the same thing for the other wing. And we'll run our thread back to the start of the bend of the hook where we're gonna tie in our tail material. That's gonna be some more calf tail, same as before. Pull some of the material out away from the tailbone, get it perpendicular, which tends to line the tips up. Cut the material off and pull out all of the short fuzzy material. We want the tail to be about the hook shank in length, maybe just a little less. About like so. And I'll we'll tie that in and on top of the hook. How that looks, looks about right. Get rid of our excess material here. One little hair there is bothering me. I gotta get rid of that. There we go. And the body of the fly, it's going to be some super fine dry dubbing from Hairline and the color is white. You want nice clean hands for this or your dubbing's not going to be white. We'll form a dubbing noodle. And wrap forward to the base of the wing. Tapered body. Just a little bit more. There we go. And the hackle for this fly is a whiting dry fly cape. And this happens to be a silver badger. And I've got a feather already picked out. We'll prepare that by removing some of the barbs either side of the stem. 
leaving a little bit of stubble there for our thread to grab and we'll tie that in behind the wing. And run our thread up to the eye. And minding the wings, we'll take a few turns behind them. Jump our hackle in front. And wrap that up to the eye. And we reach the eye, capture our hackle. Cut off our excess material. Pull our hackle back out of the way. Form a small head. Pick our whip finish tool. Four or five turn whip finish. Seat the knot. Cut our thread. And add a little head cement. This is Loon's water based. Flick clears out the eye, and our fly is finished. Please feel free to add comments at the bottom of the page, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to view all the new content here at Trident Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching, I hope to see you again next time.